and at the end of those uh, two years, I was pregnant with my second child, and so I informed them that I would not be back that next year. And uh, the principal had never had a pregnant teacher before. Oh, wow. So he sent me down to the main office to talk to the head of personnel. For what he didn't know what to tell me about coming back <laughs> next the next year. Okay. So when I got there, the the head of the personnel, who was a man, asked had the nerve to ask me, "Did you plan that?" Well, you know, in this day and age, you would, you might think to ask that, but you wouldn't dare voice it. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I kind of ignored that question. Okay. So anyhow, they ended up saying that they were very glad that I had planned to fin I wanted to finish the year. Because the principal didn't know whether to tell me I could or I couldn't. My child wasn't born until middle of October. Right. So he said, he, the, the personnel man said he was very glad that I wanted to finish the year because that would not disrupt the students exactly. and so forth. Exactly. And of course the, the kids, it, it, the thing that really struck me, some of the boys cried in seventh grade when I left, you Aww, know. So uh, that was a, a positive experience for everybody, I think. Exactly. And, uh, and then, of course, when I, I stayed home a year with that child, and when I called them about coming back, they threw this policy on me that your child had to be a year old by the 1st of September, and my second child was born the 16th of October. So I thought I, I wasn't going to teach, but then when they had a death of a math teacher at the high school, they called me to come back, and they said um, that it was, it was in the spring, and they said that uh, they, had, they were hiring for the next year, mm -hmm. and they wanted to know if I still wanted to come back. And I said, well, I've got two children now, and I can't. I can't make any obligation until I know what I'm going to do about child care. Right. And they said, well, you know, the best applicants will be graduating from the university and we need to know, you know, as soon as you can. So will you get back to us? And I said, yes, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. And uh, after I find out, I'll call back and see if you still have an opening. Well, I waited, I waited two weeks, I think. Right. And uh, of course, I already knew who my babysitter was going to be. And I called them back and told them that uh, I had found a possibility for a babysitter if they still had an opening. And they said, well, when can you come down and sign your contract? <laughs> Yes, we still have an opening. Yes, we still want you. We need you here today. So, I, and I guess one, the point of that is, I think that we have to work hard to be qualified. Mm -hmm. No, in some cases harder than others, but not in an unusual harder than others because I think that everybody has to do that. They right. have to aim to do that, mm -hmm. to get what they want. But once you know you're qualified, then we have to have the a boldness to take a risk and not back down. Mm -hmm. And we also have to have the faith to know that things will work out. Right. Right. So. Uh,